We asked real people about the 2020 census, and here's what they said. Who is the census? It's not a who, it's a what. And it happens every four years? Nope, it happens every 10 years. Knowing the demographics of each district is important so that the government knows how many resources to give each district. Jamila, <laughs> give it a remote. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to see too. Give me some. Does it count the amount of people that are living in your house? <laughs> like my aunt and uncle who are visiting from out of town? You should count anyone who lives there or sleeps there most of the time. This includes couch surfers, temporary residents, and yes, babies or people too. There's also a question asking whether or not any people in the household live in other households as well. This makes sure that they aren't double counted. I have kids. I have a family to take care of. I have to work. I got other things to do. Well, someone else in the household can fill it out. You can fill it out at my2020census.gov online anytime. How are the homeless people being counted? How are they doing the survey? There are a couple days where census takers go around and count the number of homeless people. Homeless shelters are also required to fill in census information. If you ask me, I think most folks are suspicious of the census. Plus, I don't appreciate being legally obligated to fill one out. A lot of people are suspicious of it, but here are the facts. One, the census never asks anything about your immigration status or citizenship status. Two, the census never asks for any account information, social security numbers, or money. Three, the census never asks anything on behalf of any political party. And four, the census is pretty safe. It uses cybersecurity to ensure that all the data is encrypted. What are you talking about? Here's all you have to do. Once you get your paper questionnaire in the mail, you can either fill it out there, or you can go to my2020census.gov and fill it out using your census ID that you received in the mail, or just go to the website itself. My great-grandmother made sure I did the census. She's involved in community affairs. She's pretty amazing. Change doesn't happen overnight. We're going to need more affordable housing, better transportation, and definitely some more art centers. Don't forget more hospitals and affordable health care. And that's how you do it. But in order for change to happen, we need to participate and be counted.